He'd hate it but he'd let Rob go home, under certain conditions of course, he is Stannis after all. Stannis admits to Davos that some rebellious traitors, like Rob, have legitimate understandable reasons for doing what they did. Ned died defending Stannis' claim, Rob rebelled because Ned was killed, and Stannis his rightful king, was nowhere to be found. And let's not forget Caitlin came to Renly and Stannis to make peace, possibly to bend the knee as far as he knew. Yeah, if Rob bends the knee he gets a pass, without question. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. Stannis may seem having an unforgiving nature but that's not him. In case Stannis defeated his southern enemies I'm sure Caitlyn would talk some sense into her son's head. Stannis pardoned the stormlords that had already declared for Renly. These pardoned lords would do well to reflect on that. Good men and true will fight for Joffrey, wrongly believing him the true king. A Northman might even say the same of Rob Stark. But these lords who flocked to my brother's banners knew him for a usurper. They turned their backs on their rightful king for no better reason than dreams of power and glory, and I have marked them for what they are. Pardoned them, yes. Forgiven, but not forgotten. He would have been even more inclined to padron the Starks and their allies, some of which became eventually his allies after his landing in the north. He pardoned men that knew him, Renly, for a usurper, why not someone who truly believed himself a legitimate king? Furthermore the Starks tried also to indirectly help Stannis by luring Tywin Lannister in the Westerlands, leaving King's Landing vulnerable. Many important lords also advised Rob to declare for Stannis, after and before his acclamation this had always been an option. I would also add that the independence of the North was intended as an act of rebellion against the Lannisters and Joffrey, misunderstood by Stannis. An act that was caused by the execution of Ned Stark, who died for having Stannis himself on the Iron Throne. In conclusion I think that in case the Lannisters were somehow defeated, I don't see how the war would have continued between Dragonstone and Winterfell. The Riverlands and the North would have been reunited with the Seven Kingdoms and their rebellion pardoned, who knows maybe they would have also got some reward. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.